Hey, greetings. This is Daniel Tal. This is part two on using SketchUp Diffusion. I went in and imported an interior model from the 3D warehouse since interior models work really well with SketchUp Diffusion. And I have the SketchUp Diffusion uh, extension window open, extensions, and you'll see it's under SketchUp Diffusion. And one of the things you have to do is refresh the input view so it sets the view up and we're almost ready to go. So the way SketchUp Diffusion works, right, I have the view set, there's a prompt, you can go down these pull down menus, there's different types of styles. We're gonna start with no style, I'm just gonna collapse this. So again, there's the prompt, style, and there's another option here called settings, and this is really important. You wanna respect model geometry. So this is where SketchUp Diffusion is really gonna try to make sure it doesn't alter the, the model itself and just kind of adds textures to it. It's not perfect. And I'm going to take the prompt influence all the way down. There you go. We're almost ready to actually start doing the prompts. And the way to do that is I typed in an original prompt, photorealistic interior of an art studio, if you want to go ahead and read that. But then I popped this into ChatGPT. This is a great way to optimize your prompts. I like using ChatGPT for this. Um, and I even said, please optimize the prompt for stable diffusion. And I gave it the prompt I want. First, it gave me some tips on what to do to make that a better prompt. And then it actually gave me the prompt. Then it gave me the prompt. And then I went and edited the prompt a little bit more. This was already done a couple of times to do it, to get it right. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to diffusion here in Sketch. I'm going to enter the prompt. Remember, no style, respect model geometry, and I'm going to hit generate. And this will take maybe a minute or two, but it produced my first view. So I'm going to, here's the views they appeared right here. You can actually expand this window to make everything pop up. You can click on this view and then click on full screen view, and it's going to show you what it did. That is not bad. We're two minutes into this video, and it created some very interesting looking renders. These are somewhat photorealistic. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to go to use interior photorealistic. I'm going to adjust respect the model down a little and then add the prompt influence a little higher. I didn't men mention add negative prompt. You can add information here to make sure that it does not include that in the image. And then, but making sure to keep the seed means that it's keeping the information at the top that you've put into it. This requires experimentation. I'm going to hit generate while I talk. You're going to have to play with these settings. Respect model geometry is best maximized. And you can try these different styles. Again, the whole point of this and the way that we use it is to really get some either conceptual renderings or we can use this for texturing. And you can see right now it's actually rendering it out for me as it's going. And it produced more renders. See, there you go. And that really is the gist of using this. Let me show you some renders I've done with this. Here are some examples from uh, previous renders I did with this. Adjusting the different settings, editing the prompt. Some of these are great. Some of these are a little harder. Some of these are wireframes. Um, there's different ways to actually leverage and use these. I'm going to go over that, how to work with the prompts and the setting and kind of the next options and videos. But you get the idea of what this is actually doing and how this is functioning. It really is respecting the model geometry. The more detail you have in the model, the, the better it tends to be. Really quick again, your, your first setting should be, you know, respect the geometry fully and the prompt influence should be minimized. And then you can just set no style or you can even try photorealistic exterior, whatever it might be. I'm going to click generate again. And it's going to produce one more set of renderings for us, but you can produce a lot of these as it goes by. That's the basics of using SketchUp Diffusion. Um, I'm going to do a couple of more videos uh, following this one in terms of how to use this a little bit more. Got it to produce just another set of renders. You can see I'm going through here. Model geometry, really important, how much model information you have in here. I'm going to go over and do a more of these on prompts and styles and model geometry. Please like and subscribe to this video if you want more content, leave us comments, and by all means, you should definitely be checking out SketchUp Diffusion.